Hey guys, what is going on? Chase here, and in light of recent events, I'd love to talk about the Rice Gum iDubs content cop. I fucking love YouTube drama. I'm, I'm all, all about it. I watch it all the time. Drama alert scares, you know, I watch all that stuff because it's, it's interesting to me. And, and recently, iDubs has came out with a uh, content cop, Jake Paul, which obviously is not about Jake Paul now, it's about Rice Gum. And he made some really valid points, and I wanted to give some maybe tips, tricks and tips on how to respond to it. Or, or just not respond in general because uh, we've seen a lot of people that have had content cops created on them. F up. They they mess up every time and they respond with trying to validate their themselves or they respond with trying to push the blame onto somebody else, which obviously neither of them work. So we're gonna do a little how-to respond to a content cop, you know? Step one, you're gonna make one or two decisions. You're going to either respond to it or not respond to it. Not responding to it's the easiest thing you can do. Uh, it'll blow over, you can say, yo, that was a good video, let's move on from it. Or you can respond, you know, Tana Mojo's tried to respond, Leafy is here tried to respond, and so is Rice Gum. Rice Gum has recently tried to respond. None of them work. You, you just look dumber when you respond because when people respond, they blame it on other people. They try to validate their own points, which which don't f***ing do it. Don't don't try to validate your own points. Like, you did something wrong, say I'm sorry. Don't try to point out what other people did. Ricegum tried to point out what iDubs has done wrong. He brought, he did the exact same thing as Leafy's here did. Try to bring up iDubs old videos, be like, oh, well, look, at, look how goofy you were as a kid. Like, you just, you just don't do that. Learn from other people's mistakes. Ricegum should have looked at what Tana Mojo did wrong. Ricegum should have looked at what Leafy's here did wrong, and he should have taken that, and he should have, he should have used it to his advantage. He, he responded too quick. iDubs makes these videos, and I'd say at least two, two, three weeks maybe, and, and Ricegum made his video in what? three days, four days, like, like, how dumb are you? And then, what else Ricegum did? He made Idem's points way, way better. He emphasized Idem's points on Twitter. He, he had people hanging for three days saying, music video's coming out today, didn't come out. Music video's coming out tomorrow, didn't come out. And, and he's like, this is fire. Keemstar was hyping it up. This is fire, oh my god, this is so good. And it turned out to be garbage. Like, don't hype that shit up. Just let people, let people think for themselves. Oh my god, you did, you, you just have to look at what everybody else did and don't respond. People on Twitter, Twitter are sitting there telling you don't respond that's the best thing you can do is not respond if you're gonna respond take your time with it don't try to rush it out I understand all your fans want to see like yeah yeah they're gonna respond at some point don't try to respond as quickly as you can because that's when you trip up and you make some mistakes exactly like you did exactly like Tana Mojo did exactly like Levy is here did just take your time on these on these response videos don't try to push them out just because all your fans want you to push it out like like just think about it go through it go through the video analyze it as as, as if it's somebody else's content cop and make and make a good response and if you don't want to make a response video that's fine you don't have to but if you want to respond in some way just make better content if you had better content you wouldn't you wouldn't have a content cop on you hence content cop that's why it was made because it's a content cop just think about it just think about it and that's, that's all I got for today. I, I really wanted to talk about this subject. I filmed this probably six times because I wanted it to turn out perfectly. And I think this video, I did it and I'm actually really happy about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I live stream on Twitch all the time. Twitch.tv slash Uh Thank you guys so much again and peace out, Girl Scout.